Hello, in this video I'll be introducing you to the terms stress and strain. In previous videos when we've discussed the properties of materials, we've discussed them in terms of force and extension and using the equation F equals Kx where F is the force and X is the extension, we can calculate the force constant or the stiffness K. However, there is a problem with this. The effect of a force acting on a material is dependent on the cross-sectional area of that material. In other words, a force applied to a thin steel wire will have a greater effect than the same force applied to a thick steel wire. Similarly, the extension of a material depends on how long the material was to start with. If you think about it, a long steel cable will extend by more than a short st steel cable, even if the same force is applied. Therefore, we need a couple of terms to replace force and extension that are independent of cross-sectional area and the original length, completely independent of the shape and size of the material and only related to the properties of the material itself. Well, to replace force, we have stress. Which is equal to force divided by cross-sectional area, therefore making the stress independent of the area. You'll notice that the equation for stress is the same as the equation for pressure, force divided by cross-sectional area. Therefore, the unit is also the same, the pascal. Although we should note that for many materials, the pascal is a trivially small unit, so often you'll see megapascals or gigapascals. To replace extension, we have the quantity strain. which is equal to the extension divided by the original length of the wire. In effect, it is a ratio of how much the wire has stretched relative to its original length. Because it is a length divided by a length, there is no unit for strain, although sometimes it can be written as a percentage. When we were using force and extension, we could work out the stiffness or the force constant of material using the equation K equals F divided by x. Similarly, we can find the ratio between the stress of a material, note that stress here is using the Greek letter sigma, and the strain of the material, the Greek letter epsilon, and that gives us E, the Young modulus. This is a measure of the stiffness of a material independent of the size and shape of the material and is therefore very important for use in calculations. Quite frequently in exam questions you'll be given some combination of Young modulus, stress, strain or perhaps some of the data required to calculate stress and strain and be expected to calculate an unknown quantity. Let's do one final step here which is to plug in the equations for stress and strain. So know that stress is force divided by area, and we know that strain is extension divided by length, so that gives us a combined equation here of the Young modulus is equal to force times length divided by area times extension. If you want, that's a shortcut to the Young modulus if you know the force, area, length and extension.